Hello and welcome everyone. Transactional remote ride and why you should care. I am Harkishan Singh. I am from Bhuvanesha, which lies east coast of India. I contributed from ECS and I work as a software engineer at Timescale, building and maturing PromScale, which is a PromQL compliant Postgres based remote storage for Prometheus. Let's get started. This presentation will cover the following topics. We'll start with remote storage in Prometheus and then understand the architecture of remote write today, then introduce the upcoming feature, transactional remote write, and then learn about more where we can look additional places for more information. Let me begin with what remote storage is in Prometheus. Prometheus allows storing data on a remote database. The remote storage provides advanced functionalities like high availability, multi-tenancy, thereby making an environment which is resilient, scales better, and offers very large retention periods. Let's see the architecture of remote writes today. Prometheus CSDB consists of write-ahead log, or wall, which is basically a sequence of uh, Prometheus script events, which is, which is called as records, or series and samples, then head chunks, and blocks. The TSDB contains wall watcher, which watches the most recent segment of the wall and streams the upcoming records regularly to the remote component of Prometheus. The remote component then shards the data so that it can be sent parallelly to the remote database. The limitations of current approach on the remote storage size is that non-atomic commits, inaccurate histogram evaluation, and sending metric samples and metric based data in a different request. Let's see non-atomic commits. Prometheus scrapes data from a target or an exporter and then saves in form of atomic commits, but the request sent to the remote database contains data which does not have any sync with the commit, with the atomic commit which Prometheus is doing for its local database. So as soon as the remote database gets the data, it commits it. Understanding inaccurate histogram evaluations. Imagine you have a histogram metric with four series and Prometheus shards them to send them parallelly to the remote database. And say the first parallel request contains of one and first and the second series. The next contains the third and the third request contains the fourth series. And since imagine a case where these two requests are sent and the third request is yet to be sent and by then you are you're executing a histogram quantile query both on Prometheus and on remote database. The accuracy can be affected because the same query is being executed on two different databases which, and the remote database does not have the th third request at this moment. Introducing transactional remote write. The main idea behind transactional remote write is to modify the remote write protocol to allow storage systems to commit scrapes atomically. Understanding a scrape, all data which is pulled at one time from a single target or exporter is a scrape. The challenge was that the current remote write system does not pass down enough information so that the remote system can know which, uh, which data belongs to which commit, atomic commits. The solution to this was to send all the samples of a particular scrape in a single request and if the particular scrape is very big, break them down into different requests and send the start and end markers uh, accordingly so that the remote, on the remote storage side, it can build the request on its side and then commit it atomically. The current status of the feature is in review phase. Once the concern maintainers approve, implementation will begin. Learning more about transactional remote write. If you want to learn more about transactional remote write and get more details or see the discussions happening for this feature, you can go to this link or in the Prometheus dev mailing list, you can type this topic and get the, and see the actual discussion. Thank you very much.